Well, we've just seen a, a beaver outside the window, so we're going to go out and uh, try and get a view of it. It's out in the river and uh, it's looking a bit surly, so I think I get the telescope on it, so we'll have a look now. So we don't often see them out in the, the river here because it's tidal. I think maybe we've seen them four times before. Very occasionally we've had evidence of them coming ashore and nibbling some of the saplings, but they never stay for any length of time. But there are some probably just a, you know, three or four miles away and upriver there are loads from um, the Tay above Perth and also on the River Erne and when I'm upriver on my kayak I see them really frequently. Now it's a big beast, it's about the size of a spaniel and I don't think this one's too happy. I think it's fully grown but I think it's, um, I think it's a, a fully grown youngster that's been and pushed out of territory by its parents and is wandering around looking for somewhere to settle. Um, it, the tide's coming in just now and it's following really close to the, the shore. Um, it's just sulking around on the shoreline. Look at the tail on that. It's, isn't that, it's a huge, powerful tail. And when you see it swimming out in the river, it swims really fast compared to an otter or really anything else that you see swimming out there. Anyway, so we had an amazing view of it in daylight and off it went again. Well, that was just fantastic to see right outside the studio here. It's amazing what we have uh, just round about the, the house and the garden because, of course, we're right on the, the river. So if you'd like to see more about uh, wildlife and my wildlife paintings and some painting techniques, that kind of thing, remember to like and subscribe. See you the next time.